Good morning, everyone, on this beautiful, lovely day. Welcome to Brandon Queen's Photography Training. All right, I'm going to take you into a little program I use called Photo Mechanic. And Photo Mechanic is a very powerful program when it comes to captioning photos, renaming photos, and, you know, doing all that fun stuff. Um, one of the things that I like to do is uh, I shoot for my local newspaper, and that is the Homer Courier Daily Comet. And one of the things that we do is we, um, you know, as a correspondent, I'm not a full-time person, but I got a hold of some of the stuff that they use and some of the stuff that they do. And one of the things that, one of the programs they use is Photo Mechanic. And I'm going to go ahead and take you in the inside of it and see, you know, just kind of walk around and see how it looks. As you can tell, when I open up the photo, I can click on it and view it, uh, you know, large screen and everything. And um, let's take a look over here at this, at the image content and everything. Uh, with the image content, you got your description slash your caption. And it says Brandon Queen slash correspondent. You know, that was the old way the Homer Curry and Daily Comet did their captioning. And of course, I have, you know, the crew of Christopher held his annual Mardi Gras ball you know, Monday night such and such at the Civic Center. Now, usually in this particular caption, I would put, you know, Queen such and such of the Christopher crew, um, you know, celebrates her reign, whatever, you know. Then I have my description writers, which is me. The headline is crew of Christopher. The keywords is Mardi Gras. Um, and if I scroll, you got some other stuff here that I don't really use. But if you scroll down, you have the image rights, and then, of course, it belongs to Brandon Queen, correspondent. Um, no copyright information, no credit source, and all that, which the credit could also be me. And then down here, I have event location, just a bunch of metadata to add to the actual uh, photo. You know, what the event is, the time it, it took place, which is from my camera. Um, I don't know why the dates are wrong. You know, where it took place at now, all that fun stuff. And then when you scroll down, we have some uh, stuff from, uh, that shouldn't be there though. We got some stuff from, you know, the Daily Comet that they use. Uh, this is their transfer ID. I guess when they used to transfer the pictures, it would go in with that or whatnot. You know, and then some modeling stuff, you know, for copyright uses and all that other fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to go find this folder or this photo. If you look at the name, I forgot to mention that. If you look at the name, it has the day the event happened, the N stands for news, and the Christopher Tableau tells you what it is, and then the image number directly behind it, followed by the photographer's initials, and that's a JPEG. That can be a bit tedious, and trust me, I did not name all these pictures by hand, one by one. Believe that. I'm going to show you a trick on some stuff that you can do to keep your image numbers the same if you don't want to lose your image number. So let me get out of that and go find that actual photo. Let's see. It happened in, I'm not sure the year, 2015. And it was the Christopher Ball. And I'm going to go find image 68. So. All right, I'm going to click on that. <laughs> it's going to open it up, and I'm going to go to File. Let's see if I can get some metadata from the regular on the Mac, which is our preview mode. See if I can get some metadata from that. OK, so really no metadata or anything. All right, so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and close this out, and I'm going to right-click on my photo, and I'm going to go to Get Info, all right? Now, this is where some of the stuff should be held. Now, it, this right here tells you where it's saved at and all that other fun stuff. This is your file name, you know, comments. There is no comments. Um, I'm not going to worry what to open with. Preview shows you the preview. Now I'm gonna go to more information. 
Now, it tells me here that I took it with a cannon, and then it says description. It says right here. Brandon Queen slash correspondent. Uh, the crew of Christopher held its annual ball Monday night at the Warren Harang Jr. Civic Center. And then it tells me my headline and then the instructions on you know, where this is supposed to be saved at and everything. So that's one way to view metadata on a photo. Now I'm going to open this up with Photoshop. Okay. File. Info. And there it is. My description. Person. Author's title. You know, and I just kind of go through and I get all the other cool stuff. Now, the minute I click on IPTC, it has some other information in there, like the photographer's phone number, his email address, his website, um, and whatnot. Even though this still belongs to the to the Daily Comet, in a sense, or the Homer Courier, um, my information gets put there anyway. And of course, when I put it on my website, if I publish it to my website, I can easily grab a caption. That's all stuff we don't use. You know, video, audio, none of that stuff we really use. So, basic and IPTC is the two slots we use there. So that's one way to look at it in Photoshop. And there's also a way to look at it in the Lightroom as well, but I'm not going to get into that just yet. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you the capabilities of Photo Mechanic um, as far as like storing and importing your own metadata. And on my next tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how we can do bulk captions and using shark codes. So we'll get into that later. Thank you so much for taking a look at Brandon Queen's photography training. Y'all have a great day.